Adventures in Pixie Land presents your daily energy reading. Today's astrological forecast for September 29th, 2023 is Happy Sukkot. And at 5.58 a.m. EDT, that moon goes full in the sign of passion in Aries with relationship-focused Venus in passion at Leo square disruptive Uranus retrograde in foundational Taurus. Old issues will crop back up now to be resolved. Do that resolution with peace and love, not anger and aggression. You need to keep yourself busy today on what you are emotionally invested in so you don't become cranky pants. Today's Elder Futhark Daily Rune for September 29th, 2023 is Hogalaws. Hogalaws. The letter H, meaning hail or stone. Associations, disruption, wild power, change, disruptive weather, storms, wrath of nature, uncontrolled forces. Today, expect disruptions. It may literally be weather storms, but it can also denote sudden shifts in energy, leaders, or the means or methods by which you accomplish goals. Today's Daily Romance Angel Oracle card for September 29th, 2023 is Codependency. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic love life. This card answers your question in perhaps a surprising way because addictions are the culprit behind the issues you're attempting to resolve. This could be your own craving for substance or unhealthy behavior, or it could be that your partner's addictions are impacting your love life. This card is also an indicator of a childhood experience in an addictive family. Addictions numb the heart to pain, but they also diminish its capacity to love. Since love is the basis of your romantic partnerships, addictions become a barrier to moving forward towards true emotional intimacy. This is especially true if you are twisting yourself into knots to please a person whose dependency has lessened his or her own capacity for happiness. That no one situation will negatively affect your self-esteem and your own happiness if you continue. Fortunately, lots of support is available worldwide in the form of 12-step meetings and other addiction support fellowship models. Whether it is you or your romantic partner who has the addiction, you can find free groups near you through internet searches or by contacting a local community health center. Today's Daily Fairy Wisdom Oracle card for September 29th, 2023 is Dandelions. Dandelions. Perspective. Plant some seeds today. The fairies plant their seeds with great care. They choose the very best ones, then water and nurture them tenderly. The plants grow and the crops come in, and with them they bring more seeds for the next planting. Realize that what you project, what you think onto yourself, others, and situations, your thoughts and words, are the seeds that you plant. When making limiting statements, you are actually sending out energy that can affect other people. These are not mere words and thoughts. They have substance and power. Thoughts create reality. Assessing a person or situation in a negative light actually creates that reality. Think of what you could create by thinking in a positive light. There is always another way to view reality. What you see as reality might not be what another person sees. People in situations are always deeper than they appear on the surface. Work on seeing the good in all things. Remember that how you perceive something is often a reflection of your own emotions. 
therefore revealing more about you than about the person or situation upon which you were focused. The situations that come into your life are often those of what you expect to happen. Be open to possibilities. The seeds you plant come back to you. So watch that you plant quality seeds. See all the different sides of a situation and work on seeing another person's point of view. What a growing experience this can be for you. The chant? One side dark and one side light. Which one might I choose tonight? I cast about some fairy dust and call upon those whom I trust. Ancient ones who are protective. Show me how to use your perspective. So be it. Today's Daily Starseed Oracle card for September 29th, 2023 is You Got the Love. You Got the Love. Hadrarian Energy. Codependency. Boundaries. The Hadrarians are believed to be beacons of pure, divine, unconditional love who see love in all people and situations. As a result, they can find it hard to have boundaried, independent, healthy relationships because they only see the unconditional nature of those they meet. The lovers of the cosmos, they dive in fast. They're here to learn how to love while in a separate body. To learn to love self first and then establish healthy relationships with others. To remember that the love they seek is already within them. That they truly do have the love all on their own. The message of this card is to review the ways that you may need to establish healthier boundaries. Perhaps you're in a codependent relationship in which you may be losing your sense of self. It is common for starseeds to dive deep into relationships, particularly with those who feel safe and familiar at a soul level. Perhaps you're in a relationship in which you give more than you receive, or perhaps there's a certain volatile nature to it and you're always unsure where you stand this is a sign to do a relationship review and see what energetic agreements you've made consciously or unconsciously to acknowledge if there are relationships in which you feel anxious or powerless in which you don't feel like it's safe to relax and just be you to assess if there are any places of inadequacy that you've used a relationship to soothe and cover up. Your starseed soul inquiry, do you lose yourself in relationships? If so, how? How could you develop a deeper love for yourself? Today's Daily Priestess of Light Oracle card for September 29th. 2023 is angelic assistance. Angelic assistance, keywords, divine guidance, loving support. This tender hearted, smiling angel brings you a message of encouragement and support. Heavenly light emanates from her heart and hands, and the brilliance of divine consciousness shines down from above the top of her head. This vibrating resonance of healing and loving power is all around you, brought by the angels who long to assist you in every area of your life. If you have never turn to the angels before now is the time to start they are a very real presence in the world and they can exert a significant influence on your life 
if you have a problem that needs resolving or a project that needs some inspiration, the angels can help you there. Whether you're working on a physical issue or a difficult relationship, the angels bring clarity and healing. So stop resisting and open up to their very real power. Invite them to walk with you through your day. Ask for their guidance, energy, and joyous resolutions. Then let yourself stop and take a moment to receive. You'll be amazed by the healing, peace, and inspiration that comes your way. Your affirmation? My life is filled with angelic power. I ask for their assistance and open up to their healing love. Your daily energy reading for September 29th, 2023 is the astrology is telling you that what is old becomes new again so we can fix what's wrong. Hagala says, expect disruptions. The romance oracle warns you that bad habits are affecting your love life. The fairies remind you that you plant your future one seed at a time. The starseed oracle reminds you that you can be the person you are even when you are around other people. The Priestess of Light Oracle reminds you that you are not alone. The angels got your back. So, we do plant our future one present moment at a time. And how we behave in any one present moment will govern how our future is set. I.e., if we're spending the, our present moment worrying about something because we have a problem and we're worried about the problem and not looking for the solution, we're just nervous about the problem over and over again and our brains are spinning, then we're not going to have an answer to that solution because we're not in problem solver mode. We're in worry mode. And those are not the same thing. Now, I find it kind of funny that the runes are telling you to expect disruptions on the day of the full moon when literally old stuff becomes new again so that you can resolve those issues with those people where bad habits, yours or theirs, probably are the cause for the disruptions and the problems in the first place. Uh, this person might be somebody that you have, you know, romantic feelings for. You might not have romantic feelings for this person. The Starseed Oracle is really kind of telling you that even when you love somebody or even when you're in love with somebody, because some, sometimes we fall in love and we're all head over heels and it's all giddy and wonderful and light and we start morphing into some other different person. We start becoming our partner if we are in codependence energies, which is what the Romance Oracle is warning you about. Don't be codependent. Remember that the person that you are, and I know that's easier said than done, but the person that you are naturally is the person they're attracted to. You don't suddenly need to act codependent because you're in a relationship with this person or because you're feeling some kind of way, nor should they. Yes, you and your partner grow and change and develop, but you grow and change and develop together. You grow together. You, If you're the only one changing and you're the only one doing, any, doing something, then you're not growing and changing together. You're trying to become who you think they want you to be. But they're supposed to want and love you for who you are. You need to love you first in all conditions, no matter who you're interacting with. And you're not alone. You're never alone. If you're worried that if I don't do exactly what they want, then they're going to leave. Okay, then they're karmic and let them leave. You can do bad all by yourself, but you're not even by yourself because the angels always got your back. They're there with you. Spirit is there with you any given moment of every day. You are never alone and you do not need to morph into somebody else to make other people happy. You just need to deal with whatever habits that you might have, any bad habits, any addictions that you might have that you're using to numb the pain, any of that you're not building towards a future if you're numbing your pain. You don't, you can't do both at the same time. What kind of future do you want? The best point here would be the best method forward. 
would be to find the solution to the problem that requires you to be codependent or have addictions in order to have the life that you want.